everyone, this is a really short video um, about how to remove the liner from a Balmoral type silk cross pram. The same method could be used for Kensington or earlier models such as the 10B or Silverstream, things like that. So the first step is to take your hood off. If you don't know how to take the hood off, we've got another video uh, showing you how to do that. So go to that first. The first step of removing the liner is to take the two screws out of the backrest here which you'll need a crosshead screwdriver for and they should come out fairly easily if they're a little bit stiff be, sh be careful not to strip the screw otherwise you'll have a really big problem and if they're really really stiff then maybe put some WD-40 on first so what I would recommend is if you're taking all your, your bits and bobs out, have a tub at the ready to just put them in so that you know that you're not going to lose them. And if this is your first time doing something like this, then you might want to, each piece that you take out, you might want to put it on a piece of paper with a label so that you don't forget what they're for. So you should end up with two bolts like that and two little screw cups like that. Thing that you need to do is take off the chrome corner protectors some prams didn't have these so if yours hasn't got it don't worry about it if it has there's two sets of these one on each corner near the handle you need a nice big flat head screwdriver and you want to gently prise it out if you heard that click then that's it that's the plastic popper popping out of the metalwork which is exactly what we're looking for we want to be nice and gentle so that we don't um, scratch the paintwork. And what I would recommend is going between the metal bit and the fabric if possible. It is a little bit fiddly. <clears throat> so once you've taken your two corner protectors off, there's one pin in the middle of this section that's holding it still into the metalwork. So we're gonna to have to pull that out. You want to try and be careful not to snap the plastic pin inside if you do if you have to to get it out then we can always supply you new ones at failed coach built prams so don't worry about that but just be as careful as you can so you want to put your fingers under here if you can see what i'm doing there fingers under and thumb there and pull it out like that and that's the pin that's inside there so as many keep as many as you can but if you need any more we can supply them no problem so once you've taken that end pin out, you can open up the top rail of this end like this and you can see that there's three pins the same inside. Now, you need to take these out and then this section here, this top section, is going to just come off. So what I would do is again use a nice big flat head screwdriver. Sometimes they pop out easier than others. Sometimes they break, sometimes they don't. So you want a bit of lottery, but if you're careful, you should be able to keep them up. So we've got them all out now and then we can see that we've got the top rail off and this is the part of the interior bed. Now the next step would be to go all the way around the pram and remove all of the pins in the same way. I normally find it easier to get my fingers under the inside and pull those ones out first all the way along and then the outside for the rest of the pram but you find your own way to do it. If you are using a flathead screwdriver on the outside, just be careful you don't slip and rip, um, scratch the paintwork. Similarly, on the inside, be careful you don't rip your liner if you're, decide if you're going to keep it. Um, and so once you've done that, you will be able to lift the whole bed unit out. So I'll, I'll get mine out and I'll show you that in a second. So once you've got all four top rails off, you can then just lift the, the main bed of the pram out and put it to one side now as you can see with this pram a couple of my uh, pins for the bed unit did break off so you want to be sure that you've got any of those out the bottom because it'll rattle this pram's got some rust on the inside so we'll be treating that but in general you just need to give it a really good clean maybe vacuum it um, and get any bits out so that it's all nice and clean ready to put your new bed unit in or your existing one back in once you've cleaned it i think that's everything for the video if there's anything that i've missed please leave a comment below thank you